So I know I did a little overview of the state of all my uh, chandlery uh, before, um, like at the end of the last season, but let's have a quick recap. Basically, um, the uh, dagger boards, that's the one I use for motoring just to block up the, the dagger board space, otherwise water pours up it. But the dagger boards are in pretty good condition. Um, only the expected really, which is the bottoms here are a little bit you know, scuffed and will need varnishing. Um, the main dagger board I use here also, the shrouds, when the dagger board's right up high, the shrouds tend to catch the top of it here and they scuff this up. So I'm gonna sand that nice and flush. And I think I might experiment on this dagger board, because it's not as, as important as, as this one, but I might sand it down to the wood and put a little skim of fiberglass and epoxy here and maybe even here just to here sorry i missed that maybe even here just to give it a little bit of hardiness against the shrouds which you know a wire gaff is here uh there's not much going on with the gaff uh there's some tiny little bits where there's been some scuffing like here look i mean these just need a little sand by hand and a quick varnish over. I don't think I'm gonna bother doing anything more than that. I've got the gaff uh, up. The top of the gaff here is, it does need a little bit of attention. It's took a bit of a beating, capsizing and whatnot this season. So that's gonna have a bit of uh, a check. We're gonna check all, we're gonna check all the screws in it, get it nice and tight, proper varnished up. And uh, so it's nice and secure for next season. Um, the boom is here again, same story. There's just no wear on this boom at all, other than like tiny little scratches. You know, you just wouldn't need to do anything with that. Uh, the rudder, my main rudder here, same story as the dagger board really, in really good condition. S just some scuffing on the bottom where it's caught things. But other than that, it's gonna be a quick job. Uh, this is the bottom of my gaff and this was the side that was actually a little bit uh creaky so i've actually just taken it off it's come off really easy uh it's, i've undone the three screws and then this literally just popped off let me just find where those little nails should go i think there there we go and it literally just popped off so i think we'll put a little bit more waterproof wood glue under there and then we'll probably sand all this and give it a little bit of an epoxy. And then we'll put it all back together. Because what was happening was it was coming away a little bit like that. Whereas this one's quite solid. But both sides, as you can see, yeah, I mean, this probably takes a beating, doesn't it? These just need sanding down. I might put a little bit of epoxy around the bare wood just to give it a little bit of abrasion resistance. See, this one's really going and uh we'll leave it at that otherwise you know i might have to uh make some more but i think we can recover these quite easily so here we are i'm gonna i've got some glass fiber so uh i have no idea if this is the right stuff or not um it's chopped strand mat and it's uh 225 gram i think that's denoting how thick it is it's quite thin which is what i need because the thicker stuff i've had hasn't gone round corners like that very well but what i might do is you see how this is proper worn away there i think i might just pop a little piece on each of these so you know and then just you know to give it a little bit of extra oomph i'm just going to cut that a little bit but actually, I can use these little strands as extra. So just, just like that, just where the wear is, and I'm going to stick that down. And likewise, I'm going to do one on the other side as well. So I could do that like that. And then if it leaves a little gap at all where it's worn away too much, then I can, I can just uh, fill that. So at the same time I'm doing that, I'm also going to wood glue this and get this. Oh no, I, uh, 
No, I'll leave this off for now. I'll leave that off for now. So next job is to mix up some more resin. I found this resin quite, quite gloopy, to be honest with you. Uh, it's not runny at all, this, this polycraft resin. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. I've got other bits I'm gonna do here as well, but I don't know. So I've also got this to do, um, and I'm not going to bother doing any more. So I'm not going to bother doing any more to my uh, dagger board under here. I'm just I've just sanded it all down, and I'm going to give it a good old varnish and leave it as. But this top bit, I've sanded it right back here and here, and you might see the profile. I've also made that very curvy. Actually, it feels so much nicer in the hand. <laughs> so. I've curved it so it'll take a little bit of, um, of uh, so it will take a little bit of um, fiberglass. So I was just going to get a little bit of fiberglass to just sit on there, and I'm hoping we can get that to stick down, especially if we give it a little bend. I don't want to ruin this piece. Yeah, I think that'll work just to give it a little bit of extra. Um, so we'll cut a little bit for that as well. So that's how the piece is going to go like this. I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a crease so it sits better. And then I'll either cut this piece out or I'll just tuck it under. I think I'll cut it out actually. And we'll see how we get on. So I've actually never done this before. Uh, so uh, I've watched loads of videos, <laughs> so we'll be okay. So the first thing you need to do is wet, wet the wood. There is still a little bit of varnish on there actually, but we'll, we'll be all right. Um, I'm wearing gloves now because th there's going to be a bit of handling of uh, um, of of this. So I thought while I was at it, because I've got this all the way down to wood, I might just give these a cheeky little. I know it's going to hopefully just not get on that elastic piece, but I don't think it's a big. A big job this really. Now do that. Oh don't want any brush hairs in. We need that nice and wet. I don't think it's gonna get sucked up much, although there is a little bit actually being sucked up, I can see. Because this is now not getting sucked up. You can see as it goes on. Right, I'm going to work quite quickly now because now sometimes people like to wet this first, but I just don't think it's uh, viable for me to do that. So all I'm going to do is put it on where it's affected. This is why we got the gloves. And this is also why we've got a bit of cardboard just to protect my floor. There we go. Hopefully you can still see that because it's on same background and then we're just going to dab that in and this is behaving itself quite nicely I'm being really really generous with the resin And I'm just hoping this will give it a little bit more strength just to withstand all the capsizing I'm probably going to be doing this this year. So let's get this one on as well. Nice. 
And again, get the resin on, just move it a little bit that way. That's it, we don't want it too close to that hole. You can see where there's a kind of really big divot now where the wood has been worn away. So I think this will keep the, I just think it's gonna just give it just that little bit of extra help, which will just prolong its life. And the worst case scenario is, you know, I just have to make some new pieces like this, which wouldn't be very difficult to be honest with you. Right, there we go. So this is setting quite nicely. Um, one thing you, you can do is, you know, uh, it was sort of wasn't setting or sticking down on the sides here. Um, you can get a little stick or a little brush or something at this really sticky stage and you can try and get it to stick down a little bit better. I'm not sure about these little pe tiny pieces here because the strain of them wanting to get up is quite high because they're only a tiny little fold out piece, but I'm just trying to squeegee it all through. These little hairs, so to speak, that are sticking off, they'll they'll just sand off. So let's see if we can do that, that side as well. Just, you just need to get and squeeze stuff through and, and it should stick. Right, we'll see how that goes anyway. Here's the uh, bottom of the gaff where we've been putting this little bit of fiberglass on there. It's absolutely perfect that it's worked really well. I'm really chuffed. I just need to give it a little sanding around here. There's a little bit of dripping there, but I'm going to do that once it's on. Um, the same as this side. And what we're going to do today is get this stuck down. So I've got this uh, Eversit wood glue. It's fast setting, waterproof exterior. I've been, I've been using this on my camper van and it's actually brilliant. It's really good. So I'm hoping uh, that will do the job for that. We're going to clamp it up and then we'll screw it down, put some epoxy around here and around here just to sort it out, varnish it with the rest of the stuff. just using the remainder of this really gloopy which you can now see quite gloopy uh, epoxy I'm just using the remainder I've got on the edges of, of the dagger board so I sanded these edges down because they were a little bit bare they take probably the brunt of most of my uh, boating uh, mishaps the edges of the rudders the um, the dagger will probably mainly to be honest with you so i'm instead of varnishing them i'm just going to give them a little bit of a uh, epoxy see if that keeps them you know any better well this seam here is a little this edge here is quite difficult um and then probably give them a little varnish over the top but this short keep these edges a little bit more honest. Right, this looks pretty well set. So we're gonna put the original screws back in. I do, I do, I hate these, uh, these blade screws. They're so difficult, but I think we'll make sure the original screws go back in. There's, there's outdoor weatherproof and then there's sailing proof and then there's sea proof. So I figure these are brass down here. So I figure 
they're going to be, yeah, if I could get them back in, they're good. So they're really well seated. And actually that is rock solid now compared to what it was. I'm now just going to put a little bit of epoxy just around the edges here. Just, uh, I don't know, it's belt and braces. That's what they say in, in the UK anyway. It's belt and braces, you know. It's better to overdo it than it is to underdo it. Um, and then I might just give that a lick of varnish and we're done. So I've just mixed up some uh, more epoxy. I'm just going to put some of this silica in. I think if you're really careful with this, it's all okay. So I'm going to put a fair bit again in and make it quite firm. So let's try that. Doesn't need to be as firm as the last stuff I did, but just needs to be a little bit more malleable. So it'll take a shape. So that's, that's getting there. I think it needs a little bit more. Ooh. That's better. So it's more like a paste. So it won't drop off, look, it literally, it's almost like meringue. That was what I was trying to think of earlier. So now I can shape that. Let's just get that away. I'm loving this epoxy. This po uh, polyurethane epoxy, I think it is. And it seems to be compatible with the boat. And yeah, it's uh, doing really well. So now, if I get a brush now, I need a slightly bigger brush than that's the one. And then, I don't know if you can see this. I'm just gonna get a little bead down here. I've kind of sanded down there, but you can see look, how workable this is. Look, you can get it on the brush. And I'll do this side because you can actually see me doing this side. And again, what we don't want it to do is actually get in the way of its functionality. So I don't want it to come above this bead, but at the same time, I just wanted to give this a little bit more strength I, I, you know what, I, I'm not, this, you are witnessing my first ever endeavours with epoxy, so whether this gives things strength or not, I don't know. It will definitely keep the wood, it will give it something more. So I thought while I've got the epoxy out, I may as well put a little bit in. I guess ideally you'd want a little bit of tape there, but then that will interfere, I think, with the function of the gaff. So that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to do a little bit of this and I will sand it and varnish it just to get it looking spot on. Actually this side I've done a lot better. I've kind of dabbled it in instead.